Shalom, grace, peace, and blessings to the 12 tribes of Israel. I'm your brother Reuben from Nations of Kings and Priests. And first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, the Hashem, and Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. In today's lessons, I want to go in on the new year. It's the new year in January the 1st in the dead of winter, or is in April and March as the Bible predicts. So let's God be true and every man a liar. So let's get to the scriptures. Before I go into the New Year's lesson, I wanted to show you a few precepts to give you the understanding that let God be true and every man a liar. So we must trust into the Bible and not uh, the understanding of science or man. So this is 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. And it reads, for God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. So the scripture is telling you God is not the author of confusion. He don't confuse me. Right? So let me get the next precept. The next precept I want to go to is Colossians 2 and 8. See, these basic precepts our people need to learn. So it reads, Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and feign deceits after the tradition of men. See that New Year's is a tradition of men, right? And it's going to explain. After the rudiment of the world and not after Christ. So that's a tradition of man. This is not a tradition of Yahweh Shah or Christ, right? So let me get the next precept. The next precept I want to go to, I'm going to go to Acts. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 5, and verse 29. And this is the apostles. They had the understanding because they had the teaching of Christ. And you have it today also if you wish to study and put your mind into the Bible and turn the TV on. So this is Acts, chapter 5, and verse 29. And it reads, Then Peter and the apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than man. So according to the Bible, we ought to obey God rather than man. So let me get the next precept. The next precept I want to go to is Psalms chapter 82 verse 5. And it read, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth is out of course. So the scripture is telling us that all the foundations of the earth is out of course. Even the days, the years, and the time, and the new year. And I'm going to get that in the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, and verse 25. And it reads, And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Who is the he that's speaking great words against the Most High? so-called white man. You can read that in Job chapter 9 verse 25. And it, and it quotes, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So whoever ruled the earth is the wicked and that is the so-called white man. So I'm going to read it from the top. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints of the Most High? The Israelites. Psalms 148 and 14, right? And think to change times and law. So the white man, he changed the times and law. He tell you the God laws are done away with. He changed times. He tell you the Sabbath is not on Saturday, it's on Sunday. He tell you the new year is in the dead of winter and not in spring, right? Reading on. And they shall be given unto his hand until a time and a time and a divide them a time. Earth and all the wickedness is given to him for a certain amount of time before that inheritance comes back to the Israelites. Okay, now let's get into the lesson. Okay, so now I want to start the New Year lesson, and I pulled up the concordance here on my phone, and I wanted to break down these words to show you the proper understanding. They show you that the New Year is not in the dead of winter springtime so we got the concordance to break down certain words and give us the proper understanding so what i have pulled up right here is exodus 
chapter 12 and verse 2. And it read, This month shall be unto you the beginning. So back then, in ancient times, what did it mean month? Did they have a calendar back in ancient times? No. So let's go to this word, this month. Pull it up. H2320. And the word is Kordash. And the definition is, let's read number one. The new moon month monthly the first day of the month the lunar month so the month is actually called the new moon right because they use the new moon to determine the days and the times right you can read that in genesis so let's go back this i'm gonna, I'm gonna replace the word month and, and put moon this new moon shall be unto you the beginning of the new moon. It shall be the first new moon of the year, right? So let me go, let me go to the phases of the moon to show you. All right, this is Friday, January the 1st, 2021, right? So we're not in the first month. We're actually in the 10th month. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it down. Let's go down. Let's keep strolling down. I'm going to show you what's the new moon. We got classes on that. So you can look into our new moon classes. We go by the dark moon. When the moon is dark, as you see on your screen, it's the new moon. So January 13, 2021. We will be into the 11th month of the year. Okay, let's move on. Because we're using the moon. That's what they used in ancient times. Let's keep it moving. So, the next new moon will be February 11, 2021, which will be the 12th month of the year. Okay. 12th month, all right, according to the new moon and according to the Bible. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep going. Remember, the dark moon is the new moon. Let's keep going. So the new year will be Saturday, March 13, 2021. That is your new year, according to the Bible, okay? I'm going to go back to the Bible to show you that March 13th, 2021 will be your new year, okay? So let's go back to the Bible, okay? So we, uh, we established in Exodus chapter 12 and 2 that the word month means new moon, okay? So let me go to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 1. All right. And it reads, observe the month of Abib. So what it mean, observe the month of Abib? Observe the new moon of Abib. All right, let's click on that word, Abib. Abib. H24. B. Right. And we'll get the second definition. Month of Ear form of green, of core, of growing green. What do you mean growing green? Growing corn and crops. You can't grow crops or none of that in the bed of winter, right? We didn't know a bib, the month of Exodus and the Passover. March or April. You see there? The Bible is clear. The new year is March or in April. It all depends on when that new moon fall, right? So let's go back, and I'm going to read it from the top. Deuteronomy 16 and 1. Observe the month of a bit, and keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God. For in the month of a bit, the Lord thy God brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. So first month they came out of the land of Egypt right so the scriptures say March 
or April. Okay, let's get some more. All right, from here, let's go to the book of Esther. Let's go to the book of Esther, chapter 3 and verse 7. Okay, and it read, in the first month, okay, we already established that word month. For those that didn't understand, I'm going to go back to you, to the Hebrew words in the concordance to show you what that word means. It's H2320 Kodash. New moon month monthly, the first day of the month, the lunar month, right? So we got that established. So they use the moon to establish the month. So let's go back. In the first month or the first new moon, that is the month of Nisan. Okay, what is the month of Nisan? It's talking about the month of a bit. So let's let's look up that word. H5212. Right, Nisa. The first month of the Jewish calendar, correspondingly to March or April. What? The first month is what? March or April. And I just showed you that in the phase of the moon. So, New Year is not in the dead of winter. So, January the 1st, 2021, is not the New Year. According to the Bible, March 13th. 21 is the new year but we really don't know if we living in 2021 remember the scriptures say daniel 7 and 25 they change laws and time so i hope you were edified with this video from brother reuben and with that i'm gonna say shalom